electricians really need to be using insulated tools? I mean, really though? So, as an electrician out in the field, there are times when you're going to have to work on energized circuits. We all know this is a heavily debated debate. Debated debate? This is a heavily contested debate. Uh, so, there's a lot of times where we run across certain environments that we might be in. Like, uh, say we're at like some big store or something like that, and they can't shut the store down. They've got a bunch of computers, they've got a bunch of servers, things like that, that have to keep running. If they shut them down for you to go change out one receptacle, um, or to go check a breaker and take readings and, and, you know, do certain things, it would just cost an enormous amount of money. Or say we're at some like big industrial uh, factory or something like that, or some big distribution center or something where they've got packages flying. So throughout the day, all day long, they've got, you know, millions of dollars of processes going on. They can't afford to shut their entire facility down so that you can go and work on something without having to wear PPE. So the argument out there is that a, you should never be working on live circuits ever, period, ever. And then there's the debate B, where it's like, well, we all work in environments where you have the possibility of working on energized circuits. There's entire companies that all they do is make PPE, all they do is make specific tools and things so that you can safely work on energized circuits. So I am uh, more on the line of try not to work energized the vast majority of the time, probably 98% of your career, you don't need to be working on energized circuits. But there is that 2% where I know, I've been doing this a long enough, that there are times where you do need to work on energized circuits. So they make some stuff for that. So yes, electricians do need to be using insulated tools. What I've got here is a few different screwdrivers. I've got some hand tools and I've got some kind of specialty stuff that I wanted to talk about. This is the coolest set I've ever had. So thank you Klein for sending these. They sent pretty much everything that they have. You can even see uh, other than just Klein, there are people that are making like power tools and things that have insulated uh, material around them that are still orange that you can tell have a certain amount of insulation so that if you're working on something with a power tool, you're protected as well. But as far as hand tools, if you're ever working in a panel and it's energized and you're going to loosen up a screw or do any kind of work in a panel, or say that you're working on a receptacle and you're in a metal box, there's a receptacle attached to it, you should always be using insulated stuff. So what I do is I keep an insulated uh, set of tools that I baby the living hell out of. Like I don't let these things get thrown around. I keep them in a bag. I'm not throwing them in the back of my truck. They're not getting all dinged up, messed up. I pull these out when I need to do stuff that is in an energized environment. And at that point I'm wearing hot gloves or I'm doing all of the right things, but I'm not gonna use my regular uh, set of tools. So you will notice something on most tools on the uh, the handles of them. Anything that's not specifically rated to be used on live circuits is going to say, warning, not insulated, will not protect against electrical shock. Almost every one of these tools, if you look, um, whether or not it's a journeyman set or if it's just the set that have been dipped into a vat, you know, the skinnier handles, they all say it, warning. Always wear approved eye protection, not insulated, will not protect against electrical shock. So yes, this is insulation for sure, but it is not electrically rated insulation. This is insulation for the tool, for your hand, for you know grip, for ease of use. Um, same thing with you know all of these things. If you're gonna get into an, an environment where you're gonna be working on live circuits, you need something that's specifically created and listed for working on energized circuits. So if you look, at the handles on some of these. This is a set of screwdrivers. Um, it actually comes with this little magnetizer with the kit of them. All of these come in one kit, but on the tool it says 1000 volts. So it actually says that it is rated up to 1000 volts. Still says to uh, always inspect the tool before each use. So that's kind of obvious, right? The more that you use these, and some people do like bang them around, throw them around, they can get little nicks and things that happen. So as you're using this, say if you were to grip the front of it and you're, you're using it, but there's damage to it, you could still be making contact with the metal shaft inside of here. So that's why it's always really important to keep these things safe. Same thing for hot gloves. If you're wearing any PPE at all and there's any kind of damage to it, you're risking your life. Like the whole point of you wearing that stuff, the whole point of you using things like this, 
is that insulation. And all of these things are rated up to a thousand volts, which is the minimum standard. Most of these, uh, anything, any, you know, PPE, hot gloves, things like that, they're all gonna be thousand volt rated at least. So these are really cool. This magnetizer, if you guys have never seen one of these, you take this little tool and it has an arrow that says magnetize up, demagnetize down. So all you do is take your tool and you can tell it sticks right on there, it's a magnet. You just go through, I go through a couple times like that just to line the fibers up inside of this thing so that it is now magnetized and this thing will pick up stuff. It's actually magnetic. Now, if you wanna demagnetize the tool, you just stick that in the bottom where it says demagnetize and you do the same thing. Just stick it through a few times and it's no, no longer magnetic. So that's pretty cool. You can literally make any tool. This will work on just regular old stuff. You know, I could do the same thing. Just run that through a few times, line up those fibers, magnetic, demagnetize it. Same thing, not gonna stick. So uh, that's a really cool thing to have, even if you're not using it on insulated things, this is like a cool little handy thing to keep on your truck. So the next thing that I'm gonna talk about, uh, you'll notice that there's a little bit different screwdrivers. The handles on these are slightly different. Um, pretty much operate the same way. With the, uh, this set that I got, you can tell that all of the fronts of them are really tapered and they're skinny. It's for fitting inside of small holes if you're dealing with stuff with lugs. These are called the slim tip compared to the standard screwdriver tips. And you'll notice at the ends that there is a hole, and this is for a tether if you wanna have something on a lanyard. And of course, being bright orange, it's colored for high visibility. Still, the entire tool is rated for 1,000 volts, um, just a little bit different style. And then when you're actually working and cutting things, you have insulation as well. Same kind of thing, these things are rated, it says 1,000 volts on the handles, specifically, rated to be used on energized circuits. They're a little bit bulkier, so you're gonna notice like if you're trying to stick these in your tool pouch, they probably won't fit because these ends are so wide that you just can't stick them in there. These are more meant to be pulled out and used in a specific situation and then put away. If you're cramming stuff in and out of your pockets, you want something a little bit more low profile like this. So if you notice the difference between the handles on these, it's significant. You know, like this will fit in your back pocket as you're doing stuff throughout the day. So again, these are not meant to be treated that way. These are meant to be really taken care of. Um, they make, you know, lineman's pliers. They've got the side cutting pliers. They've got a set of strippers. Um, these strippers, pretty much the same exact things as a normal set of strippers you're gonna be doing uh, on solid 10 through 18 or on stranded, it's 12 through 20. Um, has the little hook bender and it also has bolt cutters. So it'll do 632s and 832s just like any other stripper would. Comes with a spring inside. I personally like ripping that spring out. It's just my preference. I don't like a tool being always open like that. So when I try to stick it in any kind of bag or anything, it's just like wide open and spread eagle. So I like to take that thing out so the tool's always closed. And then I choose to open it with my finger. You know, I keep my pinky down at the bottom and I usually open it like this. So that's just a preference. You ain't gotta do that. Um, but they do include that spring with them. The last thing I'm gonna talk about is these are some kind of specialty tools. So there are situations where you're gonna be working on an energized circuit where you don't just have a Phillips or a flathead or a Robbie or something like that, um, where you actually need nut drivers. So Klein does make nut drivers that you can use inside of a panel. This is a half inch nut driver and this is a quarter inch. Um, so these are a lot thicker, a lot more insulation. You can actually see on the insides of them, there's this like little white ring and then there's an orange ring. The last thing that I'm gonna cover, this thing is really cool. Um, I just like little gizmo-y gadgets that like come apart in cool ways. Um, but look at this. This thing comes out, it's got two different tools. So you got a number two uh, Phillips, you got a quarter inch flathead. Actually that's 3 16 but it snaps into this tool and it stays, you know, you can work on it, it's thousand volt rated, but you can unclip it and you can change out different heads. So they've got a uh, number one, number two, Robbie or square tip. Um, but it just, dude, it like fits in there so well, snaps out, I don't know, I just love that. So those are some insulated tools for you. Uh, I really think that it is essential that every electrician have a set of insulated tools for use on working on live circuits. Just like I think it's important for every electrician to also have a set of hot gloves and a set of safety gloves and a flash suit for all of the different environments that you work in. It's gonna be a little bit more apparent when you're in a service environment, when you're out doing service calls and you're running into like 
a 480 volt you know panel inside of an electrical room somewhere um, you know or you're working on like thousand volt stuff like you need to be using stuff like this in those environments but if you're not you're working on just dead circuits then this stuff works all day every day you're gonna be using stuff like this for 90 percent of your career or as I said earlier 98 percent of your career uh, and then the other two percent just pull these out make sure you baby them though take care of them and I say the same thing for multimeters if you guys have any test equipment that's stuff's expensive you know like $150 tester $800 tester $2,000 tester some of these fluke meters climb meters things like that they range in price but they're like they're one of the most essential tools that you've got and for them to maintain accuracy you need to not be smashing them around banging them up you know allowing places where moisture can get in letting your batteries get all uh, corroded and rotted out like really take care of this stuff don't leave it in the back of your truck you know keep bags on everything so if you're at all interested to see how any of these Klein tools are made you should check this video out this is really rad I actually went through their forging factory and got to see how all of these things are made um, if you're interested in seeing how the screwdrivers specifically are made I went to a different factory down here in Texas and watched all of these get made so click that down here love you crazy people and I'll see you in the next one